Alright, hello, hello guys, this is Titan and today I'll be doing uh, Black Ops 1 on veteran difficulty, so I'm just going to be playing like mission by mission on like all the Call of Duties I've bought, and sort of not giving up till I pass the level on veteran. So uh, I've done the first one already, I just practiced it first before I um, got into it, but um, so Operation 40 is the first one, so I'll be uh, it's like not too bad, there's one little tricky part where you're like on a gun and you've got to like, you sort of got to be very accurate with your uh, Where's Reznov? your shots, but I can skip this because I don't really need to, it's just, I'm pretty sure he just like tortures you and then like, it's not really too interesting. So we'll get into the mission. The police are going to be here soon, let's make this quick. Woods, it's been a while. Well, enough, Carlos. You know Bowman, right? Carlos. It's Mason. What's up, Carlos? So you get what we need? He will be in so, wait, I'm, I'm not sure if these people that came in were, like, army men or they were cops, but, like, the cops were being abusive. They, like, start being abusive to that girl, which, like, I reckon if I was, like, there... I would react to that and like try and defend the. So I'd probably get myself killed. But I don't take any like thing if someone like hurts a female or something. I wish it was that guy, the guy that was being mean. We got to stab in the hand and whack in the face. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta, I gotta kill him. Everything is ready. Gear up, boys. Hey, but Burr, Carlos. No problem. My men will dispose of the bodies. Occupants leaving their vehicles armed with shotguns. Bowman, Carlos, lay down covering fire. We All right, so if you, if you like, literally, I've like ran out of here a couple of times on my playthroughs, and I've like shot. I just like, I, I jumped down here right, and then I came up and I just shot the people that were running away, but they were civilians, so. There is another um pretty tricky part in this. There's like you're in like a little house at like at a certain part. It's like pretty soon after the start bit, and there's quite a lot of bunch of enemies, and it's just like three shots, you're gone. So you can sort of see how tricky that sort of gets. You just like cover is everything on uh, veteran. We're like if you play on easy and normal, like uh, recruit and regular, you can sort of just run and gun. And I feel like it'll be too easy for me, so I, I at least want to give myself a, a hard challenge. Okay, let's go. This way, into the alley. Get to the car. Oh, yeah. oh God. Damn. Normally I can normally I can just run over there without them actually hitting me and they, they had bad um bad aim, but uh not this time, it's not going too well for me. Oh god, civilians, I keep forgetting about those civilians. <clears throat> My instant reaction is see someone I shoot them. If it doesn't have a name tag on them or like see like if I look at them they've got like a name on them. And if they don't have a name I just feel like they're an enemy. Did I kill him? Shot them in the face. Oh. Not in the face, in the, in the head, literally, like, I was shooting him, like, I seen blood coming out of his head, and it looked like he was still alive, just taking it like a man. So 
so it doesn't block on me. Alright. So, where did I go last time? So if you take too long, they start coming behind you, and it's not good. I can just blow that up and maybe take it out before they get out of the car. This way, into the alley. Get to the car. Damn. Like on my first ever attempt, I was not dying at this point. I was dying later on, a lot. But uh, I'm like, I, I forgot how I was doing it. Like exactly like my my exact path I was running. Like I've, I already, I, I did make a video, but like the gun sound and stuff was like way high, and I, and like when I was talking, you couldn't hear my voice too well. So um, I've had to do it again. Oh, why can't I? I might just kill some enemies first and clear it out a little bit. Alright, I'm running. Geez, like, it's a lot to get out of. Massive, massive city blockage and stuff. Alright, so it's this part right here. So you get to, like, um, assassinate one of the enemies. And then, like, the house is just riddled with people. There's, like, so many. Would you trust that? <laughs> that, uh, little metal thing that's not really attached. Alright, and I, I, so I've learned another thing as well, so if you like try run out there when they open the door, like now I think they open the door, or like shoot out the window, it will actually get your team killed and then you will like fail the mission, but if you just wait, then it's all good and you can like, I don't think they can die, I just think they can die if you like sort of do something wrong or um, something like that. Contact 
down. Contact down. So that's a way to take this most of this building out before you actually have to deal with them. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, any any little tricks you can do to like shoot through or um, save yourself from being exposed, definitely use that to your advantage. Definitely on Call of Duty veter veteran. So in my first run I was dying here a lot because I was sort of learning all the locations where they spawned but that's like why I looked to the other side very fast because I knew what I was dealing with. So this is so silly. I hit our helper, right? I think maybe the guy, it was the girl's uh, boyfriend or something, but she was using her as a hostage. Then she literally tries to pick up the shotgun. In my first time I played this, I was like, damn, I just saved you. <laughs> like, my, my uh, reaction is funny. We helped you, but... Okay, as I remember this part was actually pretty tricky as well. So there's like a guy that tries to rush it, uh, rush it down. And yeah, like, really the only way out of this is uh, either waiting like that, or you can't really wait where I was waiting, but I mean like wait in the room here, or you uh, sprint to this. Like, and run to that box there, and that, that can, like, just get you. Pretty much all the time you'll save yourself from that. That way, but... Oh god, some more people.
Oh god. I don't know where I'm getting shot from, to be honest. Oh god. Oops, that was not my melee button. Should have got a checkpoint here though, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, I like learn, like just sitting here, you can literally like use this and they won't like shoot you as much. Even though I'm pretty sure Call of Duty you can get bullets that go through the uh, through the stuff. Unlike other games where you like have to legit hit them at times. Well you still hit them but like goes through the uh, like building and stuff you can kill people like that. I wouldn't really call this a cornfield, I'd, I'd call it a whole field or something. With all the uh, massive airstrikes happening constantly. Oh! Right, alright, we've got to do this. I still feel like this is safe without rope, but... <clears throat> like, you could definitely sh um, slide down without, like... Hurting yourself too much. I wonder if you take too long, you just die or something. Uh, I think I jumped up into the plane blade and that's what got me. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing those rockets? They remind me of Halo Marine rocket launcher shots. And how close they get. I feel like he's shooting me with a rocket launch my own team. Oh god, ah, okay, ah. Uh, so this is the part I was talking about that's one of the harder, uh, sort of harder kind of parts in Call of Duty games on veteran. Because there's nowhere to get cover and like the people just hit you, you've sort of got to be very accurate with your shots. And I am not. But I do get it eventually. This wasn't smart. I mean, it sort of got them away, like, it, it saved them. I 
but God knows what's going to happen to him now that they caught him alive. You're dead. We killed you. No. You killed a double. You think we didn't know of your plan? We always know. Do with him what you wish, General. So looking at the trailer for, like, Cold War, though, um... I'm pretty sure this guy, the Just guy on the right, sure he's uh, still in the game. Like, he's like the bad guy for Cold War, or maybe like someone, because I haven't actually ever finished Black Ops I 1. I finished Black Ops 2, but I've totally America. forgotten. Because that would have been 2013 or something, when I when I was playing on 360 still. And then, uh, never really played Black Ops 3 as in campaign, other than the zombie campaign, because there is like a zombie and a human one. Like, I've played them a little bit, but I've never finished them, is what I mean. Um, and then... Like, the only really Call of Duty campaigns I've fully completed, I think, is MW3, MW2, MW1, and Black Ops 2. And Ghost. I love Ghost. He was behind everything. Where did Dragovich take you? Russia. A labor camp. Oh, a hellhole. Called Vakuda. Oh, my God. What did they do to you, Mason? What didn't they do? I'm pretty sure when it starts loading like this, it's going into the second mission. But yeah, like, see, I don't feel like veterans way too difficult. It's definitely difficult, but like, I feel like there's definitely harder, harder, harder difficulty games out there. Like, you had to fight. A shooter that's Just very hard, I reckon, isn't... Oh, I'll so click that, left mouse. I think I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in Mission 2 uh, for Black Ops 1 Expert Difficulty. Alright, see yous. Stay safe.